I said I'd do a kind deed and some guy said, you should do a thousand and well, here I am three years later keeping that promise. So you've done a thousand good deeds? I think I've done two or three thousand. I just, I lost count. I, I really did. Once we got up to like a 900, I just started, I just, it wasn't about the number. It was just about doing what you're supposed to do. See a mama that's struggling with children and you see, just pay for her groceries. I've, I've, I've done that a couple times and just the $60 to them means pizza night. They get to go to a movie for once, like things like that. And it's just the small stuff because you don't have to do big world records. Like you don't, have, I have a couple world records, like uh, most kind acts an hour, the biggest rate, like they, they take months of planning. But it's not about the big acts. It's always about the small ones because once you do one small act, it actually turns into 10 because it grows because then they'll do something nice and then it just keeps growing. You do a good job of doing good deeds. What would you recommend to other people who want to just pick up some small acts of kindness? What are, what are some ways you can think of something to do or if parents want to encourage their children to do acts of kindness? How do you come up with ideas? Um, Alan, no. <laughs> Lots of Alan, no. Um, the, it just, it, it comes to me. A lot of these ideas just come to me or, or I see something and I go, great, that's a uh, wonderful idea. But uh, the biggest thing is, is just telling your kids what happened, put yourself in their shoes. And, and that really works. And then just start doing little things like um, shoveling sidewalk. Just start off really small and, and make a game of it with the children. And it really works well with my children. They love it. Like my daughter has a heart that is just so wonderful and beautiful and she helps everyone. She hugs, we were in Regina and she, she saw this, um, this homeless guy on, on the corner asking for money and he was in tears, just went up to him and gave him the biggest hug and I, I'm going to cry now because she's just, she has that heart. I'm really interested to hear about your next good deed that you're planning around Christmas time. Yeah, um, around Christmas time, um, we all know that STC was vital. We desperately needed transportation. We have a huge province and uh, I understand, you know, cutbacks, they had to get rid of it. So. Um, there's a lot of seniors and children that can't go home for Christmas this year. So we're thinking, what can I do? What, what, what could we fix this? So we're doing a Saskatchewan Christmas Ride Share program. So what the Saskatchewan Christmas Share Ride program is, is um, say you're from Moose Jaw and you're going all the way to Nipawin. There's going to be probably half a dozen people that want to go home for Christmas, seniors that want to see their family in Nipawin, but just they can't get out there. They, they don't have a bus service. They can't afford a taxi. Like a taxi would be like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So why not, if you have the room, pick them up. Say we're going from December 22nd to December 30th. This is when we're leaving and just pick them up. Drop them off and then pick them up on the way back. It's such a wonderful program. If you have the room, why wouldn't you do it? So I'm working with uh, church groups and a bunch of other special groups um, all over the province and we're gonna have this Christmas ride share program and I'm, I'm excited it, it's filling the void that the government decided that wasn't necessary and for me I think family during Christmas time is necessary